So with this problem, we are asked to solve this system of equations by elimination. Uh, that starts with eliminating one variable to bring it down to a system of two equations and two unknowns, and then eliminating uh, another variable from those two equations and two unknowns, and solving for one of the variables, and then using back substitution. So first we need to choose what variable we want to eliminate first. I'm going to choose to eliminate y, and that is simply because if you look at the first and third equations, they're already opposite signs and the same coefficient, 1, uh, or 1 and negative 1. So when we add those equations, it eliminates the y variable. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 3x plus y minus z equals 2. 4x minus y minus 3z equals 0. And if we add those equations, 4 plus 3 is 7x. z minus 3z is minus 4z. And then 2 plus 0 is 2. Now we can choose any other two equations from the system to eliminate the y variable again. I'm going to choose the first and second equations. And that's just because uh, one is has a negative coefficient, one has a positive coefficient. So we can just add them after we multiply. So we want this, this coefficient in the first equation to be 3. So we want to multiply the entire equation by 3. So 3 times 3x plus y minus z equals 2. And that's going to give us 9x plus 3y minus 3z equals 6. And we're still going to add that second equation. So let's go ahead and write that down. 2x minus 3y minus 2z equals 1. We add those to eliminate the y variable again. So 9 plus 2 is 11x. 3y minus 3y is 0. Negative 3z minus 2z is minus 5z. And then 6 plus 1 equals 7. So now we have two equations and two unknowns with the y variable eliminated. So let's go ahead and write those down. 7x minus 4z equals 2 and 11x minus 5z equals 7 now how are we going to eliminate one of the variables and which one I'm going to choose to eliminate uh, the z variable so the least common multiple of those coefficients 4 and 5 is going to be 20 so I'm going to need to multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 4 and again that's to get uh, and we could multiply by negative 4, but I'm just going to apply the negative after the fact, so that way I don't lose any negatives. There's not a lot of uh, complication in it. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. Uh, so 5 times 7 is 35x minus 20z. 5 times 4 is 20 equals 2 times 5 is 10. And then 4 times 11x is 44x minus 20z equals 7 times 4 is 28. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the sign so we're subtracting this in order to get rid of the z variable but I'm going to go ahead and change this to a plus and then just change the sign on everything inside. That way I've applied the the minus to all terms inside. So 35x minus 44x that's negative 9x equals 10 minus 28 or 10 plus negative 28 is negative 18, so that gives us x equals 2. So we've solved for x, so now let's back substitute to solve for z. We can use either one of these equations, 7x minus 4z equals 2, or 11x minus 5z equals 7. I'm going to go ahead and use the first one. 7 times 2 minus 4z equals 2. So 14 minus 4 4z equals 2, negative 4z equals, subtracting 14 from both sides, negative 12, and that gives us dividing both sides by negative 4, z equals 3. So we have x equals 2, we have z equals 3, and now we can solve for y. We can pick any of these equations uh, from up here. I'm going to use the first one, then we'll check with the second two. So 3 times x is 2, 
plus y minus z is 3 equals 2. So 6 plus y minus 3, 6 minus 3 is 3. So 3 plus y equals 2, which gives us y equals negative 1. So our ordered triple that is the solution, at least tentatively, is going to be 2, negative 1, 3. Now let's check using the other two equations. So 2 times 2 minus 3 times negative 1 minus 2 times 3. I'm just substituting x, y, and z into our second equation up here. Equals 1. We want to know does it equal 1. So 4 plus 3 minus 6. Does that equal 1? 7 minus 6, that does equal 1, so it checks in our second equation. Let's check in our third equation. 4 times 2 minus negative 1 minus 3 times 3. Does that equal 0? So 8 minus a negative is plus a positive, so 8 plus 1 minus 9. Does that equal 0? 9 minus 9 0 does indeed equal 0. So it checks in our second equation as well, which verifies that the solution to the system of equations as an ordered triple is 2, negative 1, 3. x equals 2, y equals negative 1, and z equals 3.